All right, guys. So today I want to talk about uh, some strategies and some tips to get you out of trouble on the golf course. Here I'm short-sighted. Got to hit a little up and down, quick, high floater, landing, going up high, quick, landing softly. I'm out of position. Now, I assume the reason you're on my channel or on any golf channel across YouTube is you want to become a better golfer, lower your handicap, lower your scores. Okay. To do that, you've got to learn a little bit about course management and course strategy. So, what do I mean by that? Well. Golf is a numbers game. How we do it, there's no pictures on a scorecard. If I can get down to the green in two, into the hole in two, that's four times 18, that's 72. That's usually the going rate for par on any given golf course. So there's your goal, okay? Now, when you get down to the green, in order to do this, you have to leave vanity to one side. So to take two strokes, I follow a, like a little cheat sheet. If I can putt, I absolutely will putt. A bad putt always, always beats a bad chip, and that's because it lives exclusively along the ground. If I can't putt for whatever reason, lie, slope, etc., I'm going to chip next. Now, a chip is similar to a putt in regards to it lives primarily along the ground. There may be a little bit of bump to get the ball elevated quickly. So 95% ground, 5% air. Then there's a pitch. Pitch is where it's more 50-50. It floats in the air and it lands on the ground softly and it rolls out. That's your pitch shot. See, there's a difference between chip and pitch. And then four, which is where I am today, is your flop shot. This is your Hail Mary town, and I hope you don't have many of these. I hope I don't have too many of these, because the odds of getting these up and down all day are impossible. Okay, You don't want to do this. You might get one or two up and down and think you're a Seve Ballesteros, but really, the more you have, the more you will fail, because the odds are stacked in the casino's favor. So stay away from the short side. But if you are in the short side, I'm going to show you today how to do it. Okay? So if a putt is 100% on the ground and a chip is 95% on the ground, a flop shot is the opposite. 95, maybe even 99% in the air. So we've got to get the ball up quickly, landing softly. So here are the tricks of the trade for that. So number one, up quickly means lots of loft. This is good because adding lots of loft adds lots of bounce. And bounce is the reason why the club will just chase through the turf, skip through the turf, or won't take a big divot, okay? So bounce is your friend. Learn to play around with it, learn to enjoy it. You're going to love it once you're comfortable. Now, how else are we going to do it? Now, lie angle matters, believe it or not, and there are other videos across my YouTube explaining this, so feel free to go search around and, and learn a little bit there. Ultimately, if the handle's upright, it helps the ball go low, and if the lie angle is flatter, it helps the ball go high. So when you combine a flat lie angle with an open face, you double whammy there on helping quick elevation of the golf ball with lots and lots and lots of spin. So that's a, that's a huge positive. However, it's a scary sight at first, so I encourage you to practice this and play around with this. How do we accommodate such extreme positions? Face way open, handle low. Well, I need a wide base, much wider than, say, a driver would be. Okay? And I also need my ball position forward, and I need to sit right down. So I'm going to drop this low, and I'm also going to grip so low that my trigger finger is sitting on the steel. That's going to help me slide this through. Okay? So the step by steps are sit that face, grip handle, trigger finger on the steel, face way open. Wide, wide base, drop the handle down low, and put your weight forward. Now from here, okay, I am not trying to get this ball close to the flag. That's a bonus. Absolute bonus, which you pretend like you've had all the skill in the world if it comes off, but quite frankly, up quick, stopping quick is all we're looking for. So, trigger finger on the steel. Open that face. Widen the base. Pressure forward. Sit that handle down low. And I want that steep, steep bounce off the club. There you go. Up and down. Okay. Let's try that again because that was a lot of fun. Okay. When the left, let's play around with that. Why could that have gone left? That lie angle probably had a huge say in that. So let's open the faces a smidge more and offset that lie angle just a touch. Trigger finger on the steel. Handle low. Wide base. Pressure forward. Bounce away. There we go. And I am thrilled with those, but again, you have to practice this because a lot of this is going to scream weird and uncomfortable and unorthodox. But remember, you're out of position, so you need to break some rules to get back in play. Follow the cheat sheet, have some fun with it, explore these videos and other videos, and good luck. I look forward to reading some of the comments below.